Genocide Joe Biden was giving out Halloween treats at the White House last night. Anthony Blinken came dressed as a Ukrainian flag. He brought his son with him dressed as Zelensky. Well, a Zelensky will always get treats at the American taxpayer's expense from Joe Biden. Meanwhile, Time magazine that had Zelensky as their man of the year this week depicts him as wandering the corridors of power in Kiev, utterly delusional, with no one left believing in his cause except himself. And the Financial Times debunks the whole canard that the resistance in Gaza has something to do with ISIS. No, says the Financial Times. Hamas are more Viet Cong than ISIS. I wonder what happened to the Viet Cong in their struggle. And the Financial Times is backing a ceasefire in Gaza. So is the Pope. So is the overwhelming majority of public opinion just about everywhere in the world but not where it counts, in the chanceries, in the government headquarters, in the presidential palaces. It's genocide as usual. Oh, and World War III starts at dawn on Friday morning. Listen up for more. This is going to be the mother of all talk shows.